Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. Last time we found out that Santa has gone nuts, and uh, we need to find out what's wrong. It seems there's a demon involved. Alright, so let's uh, take a look around. That Orwellian touch brightens up any neighborhood. <laughs> Targeted, ominous marketing. I like that. Do you want to make more money, Max? Sure, we all do. This was a lot more exciting than Manly Deeds, Womanly Words, the Maryland story. <laughs> I like that. Oh, there's bosses right there, so we landed uh, on the other side of it. I don't think we ever got to be on the other side. We just kind of saw it. Hmm. Well, I want to do when I see Bosco first. I'm glad this survived the destruction. Hmm. Oh, we don't get to see what's inside the little candy thing? That sucks. But we do get the yeah, new Canada scans. sells US to MacroHard Corporation. I wondered why the stock market kept crashing. Oh yeah, because we sold the US to Canada so we could get an earthquake maker. <laughs> new S&M season. It's a shame you don't wear collars, Sam. It says they're coming back in style. See, I was thinking about labeling these videos uh, S and M Beyond Time and Space, but then I realized that I'd be calling it S and M, and that might not be the best idea. It might give people the wrong uh, impression. But I do want to see Bosco. Welcome to Bosco's Inconvenience. Please wait while I determine whether you are truly welcome or if I am just uttering idle pleasantries. <laughs> Nothing says inconvenience like a full body search before you can buy your candy cigarettes and all day suckers. You have been deemed not unacceptable. Welcome. <laughs> <gasps> Bosco, your disguise. It's... it's... it's hideous. Claw my eyes out, Sam. I can't bear to look at it. Not if I claw my own eyes out first, little buddy. I'm not wearing a disguise. Wow! I forgot how ugly you were without a wig or hat or something. Shh! My package! Uh... What? What? No hilariously inadequate disguise this time? Sam, 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 you poor naive fool. Don't you realize the time for disguises is past? Yeah, you poor naive fool. Don't you realize that? Quiet, head knuckle. A disguise could never protect you from T H E M. Them? Ah! You scared me. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I, I, I like the disguises. Who's them? Ah! That's exactly <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out. I'm watching. I'm listening, and I will find T H E M. Well, if you do, tell them. Ah! Okay, this is getting old fast. <laughs> them. Them. <laughs> okay. Oh, just just like in Escape from Monkey Island when I kept making that quack noise. What's with your store? I'm not sure if you noticed, but this ain't a store no more, man. I haven't noticed anything. Look, I've got a hundred trillion dollars and a thousand of faceless enemies. I don't need to sell anything. Then why keep the place open? I'm a people person. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, we did sell the United States to get the cash to give to him. Huh. What's with the fancy dance scanner, Bosco? Tools are necessary. Tools are the only things that separate us from the animals. That probably plays a little better with the non-dog and rabbit ground. <laughs> That's why I need the personal antipathy registration annulment and non-negational omnifunctional identification device. That's just paranoid. Technically, yes it is. Technically, yes it is. Now the store looks, uh, interesting. It ain't a store no more! And did you know people who say that something looks interesting are more likely to be serial killers? More likely than who? Than non-serial killers! It's a fact! A fact they don't want you to know! Who doesn't want me to know? Exactly! Oh boy. My regards to your decorator. Yeah, what's the style? Early colonial conspiracy theorist? No, a theorist is somebody who has a theory. 
I have conspiracy facts! So, I guess you'd be a conspiracy factist. He's certainly not a cluist. Cause he doesn't have a clue. Oh. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I actually didn't get it until you had to explain it. Oh, Max. Do you have any bulletproof edible underwear? I don't have anything! This ain't a store! Do you have any Lords of Leapin' and or Maids of Milking? I told you this ain't a store! Do you have any inflatable arms capable of being used as replacements for your real arms? Didn't I just tell you this ain't a store no more? Do you have any passive-aggressive payback disguised as an innocuous customer inquiry? <laughs> Do you have no! any- No! <laughs> this ain't a store! It's not? No! Oh, why didn't you say so? A trillion dollars worth of detection equipment, and yet he still didn't see that one coming a mile away. I'm glad they brought that gag back. Do you have any bullet? Okay, I don't... and it just repeats. Enough about your store. It's not a... Oh, forget it! <laughs> Say, Bosco, what's hey in Hey, guys, the... does my package sound like it's ticking to you? Not your best pickup line, Bosco. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think my package is the bomb! Now that's a pickup line. I know. What do you think, ladies? If a guy asked you if his package was ticking, who would send you a bomb? My mother, of course. She sends me one every year around this time. Families need traditions. So why don't you just get rid of it? I built that bomb disposal unit for that very purpose. So why don't you just get rid of it? Cause it might be the billion-dollar plunger I just ordered. What a dilemma! Oh. Just open your package, Bosco. But what if it's the bomb? I thought I heard ticking. Just get rid of your package, Bosco. But what if it's my plunger? I gotta be sure it's ticking. Oh, okay, fine. See ya, Bosco. Shh. Hmm. Say, Bosco, we'll take that package off your hands for you. Step back, boy. That's mine. I wonder if we could send a package for, to Bosco from uh, the North Pole. Hmm. How does he get these shots? Is that Sybil down there? Well, he pretty much has limitless resources now that he's a trillionaire, so yeah. Max Impeachment Weekly, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Volume <laughs> 4 comes out next week! <clears throat> hmm. Alright. I wonder if he still can do this. Hey! Oh, dang it. You have to shoot at something this time. You can't just, I wish you could shoot ah! randomly. <laughs> oh, dang it! And it, like, moves the cursor away from what you're shooting. Stop it! Watch out! Put that away! Go. What are you doing? You're the crazy man! <laughs> You'll kill us all! You'll be the death of us all! Don't make me come over there! He's got a gun, and he doesn't know how to use it! I don't want to shoot my little buddy. Uh -huh. Why'd you get in the way? Why did I ever get rid of B-Tan? <laughs> hey! Ah! Okay, that's enough of that. At least this trash can is the same old innocuous garbage festooned receptacle we remember it to be. Hey, stay away from my viral prionic malarial inoculator! Oh well. Malarial inoculator, alright. <laughs> what? Hey, that looks like one of the four horsemen action figures. Hmm, is that, uh, what's the package? We could use that. Weenie Jerky. How do they make jerky out of weenies, Sam? You're not old enough to know. And neither am I. <laughs> Alright. I'm glad somebody's keeping wary of the inevitable pigeon uprising. Can't I'm glad it. somebody... Okay. Can Whee! we borrow your bomb be gone? There's some obsolete landmines around the office we need to get rid of. No! If I loaned my bomb disposal unit out to everyone in the neighborhood who needed it, I'd never get it back! You know, in this neighborhood, that's actually true. <laughs> Let's see. Bosco spying on his own bathroom, the director from WARP-TV, the L-Train, and... Hey, wait a second! He's spying on us. Oh, well. Photography equipment for people who've never heard the word digital. <laughs> it's an old photograph enlarger. I wonder if it will enlarge anything else. No, Max. No. Uh, it's that thing from Black Mirror 2 all over again. And 
Boy, yeah, I do plan to do the Black Mirror series sometime. Hey, an X-ray machine. Don't fool with that. Hey, an X-ray machine. Don't fool with that. Uh, okay. Hugh Bliss's master plan. Bosco's a little behind the times. <laughs> this is the kind of radio that eats other radios for brunch. Don't fool with that. I think it actually does like have all like the steps that we had to go through in the last game. Suddenly, it all makes sense. I can't see where we fit into all this, Sam. Oh, I've got a couple of walls upstairs devoted to you two. Ooh, I'd like to see that. Now we can finally confirm exactly how many different strains of bacteria live in the pickle relish. Remember, I've still got 163 in the office pool. <laughs> Everything's stable. Well, except for the proprietor. Are the high-intensity security lasers to keep us from getting into the bathroom, or to keep something from getting out? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, sorry, Max, you can't use the bathroom. Even dark rooms need popsicles. Stay away from my cryogenic freezer. I'll need to put myself in suspended animation once the end times come. If it's a cryogenic freezer, why are there still mustard-covered snow cones in there? Just because I'll be in suspended animation doesn't mean I don't want a snack. And who doesn't like mustard-covered snow cones? Whee! I wonder, how can we, uh... Hmm. A remote-controlled boxing toy. I'm kind of wondering about something. If we can make it box and that'll make it give a ticking sound, will he then get rid of the package and we can get what's inside? Not what I intended to do. Package. Don't fool with that! Nope. Okay. Uh, maybe we can come back here later. There's still some more stuff to explore. Before we go up this way, let's, I want to kind of go left to right, more or less. This parking meter could withstand anything. Ah, parking meters. They're like the cockroaches of architecture. <laughs> yeah, isn't that the thing we knocked down before? Oh. Jimmy, hey, my doing? missing boxing glove. That's my lucky glove, Huts. Jimmy Choo Teeth, what are you and your unsavory pals doing in the burned out husk of this robot? The first rule is we don't talk about what goes on in the burned out husk of this robot. Hey, me horse! Give it to me. Nothing do it. That's my championship trophy, and I want it fair and square. I always thought being shipless and lazy was its own reward. They're giving out trophies now? Boxing championship, wise guy. See ya, suckers. Aw, oh, we need that horse. Let us get a hold of that horse, Jimmy. I don't deal in that stuff anymore. Oh! You mean my boxing trophy? Nothing doing. You want to see my trophy? You've got to come in here and win it from me. We can't fit in there, much less into the ring. Hey, I don't make the rules, buddy. I just exploit him. Oh, but uh, we do have something. And it's on! In this corner, with zero victories, 48 defeats, and one draw due to unsportsmanlike conduct with a carving knife, weighing in at 14 ounces, Wally Glassjaw Puddle Sniffer! Ouch. And our challenger, coming direct from the North Pole, weighing in at one pound, 14 ounces without batteries, Foxy! Uh, click your mouse left and right to dodge and uh, click to either mouse button to punch. Oh, use the keyboard. Ready, fight! Uh, I'm just, just going crazy. Okay, just wait for him to... Ow, okay. 
and yeah. What's this? A new opponent hailing from a potato chip bag in the dumpster outside Slot Mart. The rat, whose barber didn't know when to stop, the pride of the skin bodies, Bold the rat. Ready? Fight! Oh, we got four hearts. Ouch! Oh. Okay. Left hook. Oh, jeez. Left hook. Left hook. Okay, let's uh. Knockout. I, I think I need to use a keyboard for this. Would so you me, like to try, try again. again? So let's see how it's left and right arrow keys to dodge, use A or D keys to punch. Okay, that might be easy. Ready, fight! Okay. Left hook! There we go. Ooh. Okay. What power? Okay, okay, I get it now. Left hook! Ooh. Put him away! Gotcha. Knockout! Betty wins! Much easier with the keyboard. And now, for our final match, in this corner, direct from a hole in the wall of Sam and Max's office, weighing in at 1 pound 13 ounces, or 12 ounces without the lucky glove, our defending champion, Jimmy Tutti! Ready? Fight! All right. Left hook! Oh, dang it. Knock oh. Out. oh, one hit from loses. that thing, and you're done. Would you like to try again? Okay. So, yeah. This is why I'm no good at Bring knockout. <laughs> Ready? Fight! Okay. Left jab! Oh, dang it. Ouch! Okay. Left hook! The action blow. time needs to be on point. Finish him! And Jimmy Ooh, yeah. goes down! Boxing Betty is the new champion! There we go. It's the super exclusive war action figure with extra... Ooh, there are pieces missing. I don't see the weapons of mass destruction. Eh, who needs them? How could I lose? I'm no expert, Jimmy. But I bet being a loser helped. You, you're right. I, I can't go on like this. Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, nice going, Max. Now see what you've done? Jimmy's gonna off himself. Huh. I always thought guys appreciated a bracing, candid reality check. Your suicide causation rate suggests otherwise. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do it. I'll jump, I tell ya. Hang on a second, Jimmy. Jimmy, this isn't like you. What do you mean? You're not the suicidal type. You don't have the guts or the follow through. Groan! Do a backflip. Uh, okay. It's always darkest before the dawn, Jimmy. What the hell does that even mean? Give it up, Sam. Oh, you're right. If somebody as dim as you can tell I'm just phoning it in, why bother? Turn that frown upside down. That nonsense ain't helping. Sorry, Jimmy. It's just that suicide is too horrible for me to even contemplate. Even though we'd all be happier if you were dead. <laughs> Maybe. You know, your wife's gonna give you hell if you kill yourself. Mary? She left me! You're overreacting, Jimmy. You think? Sure. Your wife probably never really loved you in the first place. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's go to Max. Hey, when you jump, try to hit somebody annoying on the way down. Like one of those soda poppers. Which one's the incontinent one again? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Boy, you really are useless, aren't you? That's a wizard, isn't it? Wouldn't you rather die by my hand? I guess it'd be faster and better to get taken out by a friend. You are my friend, right, Max? Hmm, I wonder what I could use to do the job. The Luger? A nine iron? You're not even listening to me, are you? Of course I am, Sam. Go on! <laughs> After you jump, can I have your stuff? Like what? I ain't got nothing. Don't say that! Your pelt looks like it'd make a great pair of ear warmers. Hmm. After you jump, can I have your oh, stuff? Okay, same like, no, your pelt. Look on the bright side. No wife, 
No family, no job. What right side? Well, with all the brain damage you got from boxing, you'd make a great vacant-eyed janitor. And ah, nuts. My boxing career didn't even last long enough to give me a decent case of brain damage. You know, your wife's gonna give you hell if- Oh, okay. Mayor? You're all- You think? Sure. Max, I don't think this is helping. I disagree, Sam. I feel much better about myself already. And... No, Jimmy's gonna have to do this for himself. Ah, uh, alright. Let's just leave him be. I just wanna take a look. I hope that I don't actually have to add anything to this thing. The Horseman of War. It doesn't look like it. I think the whole uh, weapons of mass destruction thing was just a joke, hopefully. Don't actually find any pieces to it. Sybil's not here. It's closed. Open 24 hours unless I don't feel like it. Or a giant robot tosses the entire building a city block. Well, it did make it more convenient for us to access. Hmm, how about the uh, diner? We kept seeing this from across the street over and over again, but we finally get to go in in this season. Ah, the smell of desiccated eggs, congealing bacon fat, and rye bread gone awry. It's like Stinky's Diner never closed! Welcome to Stinky's. We never close, except when we're closed. Who are you? I'm Stinky. The Stinky we know was a cantankerous old man who transformed his seething hatred of humanity into a misanthropic smorgasbord of culinary horrors. That does sound like Grandpa. Okay, we're ready for the next round of trivia. And the question is, when did the War of 1812 begin? A. 1812 B. 20,000 years B.C. C. March 3rd, 2004 D. Bangers and Mash Jeez, Stinky Jr. Is, uh, is a cutie. And look what we have here. Hey, that looks like one of the Four Horsemen action figures. Why are there two on there? Why does one look so happy and the other one look so upset? Oh boy. Anyway, hello, Stinky. I love Sybil, how Sybil's still with uh, the head of Abraham Lincoln. Ooh, Abraham Lincoln hiccups. Hiya, Stinky. If that is your real name. Uh, who are you two again? Sam and Max, freelance police. The real Stinky's favorite customers. It says so right on our frequent diner cards which conveniently double as organ donor cards. Oh yeah, Sam and Max. Grandpa warned me about you two when he left the restaurant to me. Something about frequent threats of violence and refusal to pay your bill. He remembered us! <laughs> What's going on? There's a lot of people here. It's a trivia contest. It's fun. People get to show off how little they know, and I get to show off how much I know. That doesn't sound like much incentive to play. Shows what you know. Oh, and there's a big prize, too. Hmm. And let me guess what the prize is. What's the prize for the trivia contest? If anyone wins, they get my ancient heirloom. Sickly man on a horse. Not that anyone's come close to winning yet. <laughs> my sophisticated questions are just too esoteric for these booth monkeys. Booth monkeys? Where? It's just an expression. We'd like to order something. We're all out. Of what? Whatever you're going to order. That's okay. We just want to order it anyway. <laughs> right? We'd like the daily special. Sal Condi Rice Kickboxing the Buddha, Thai style. What's in it? What do you mean, what's in it? We'll have the poached eggs with tinfoil. Sal, give me the Norse God Thor in a terrarium and spank him. Oh my gosh. We'd like the tuna sandwich, extra peppers and pop rocks on white bread. Sal, I need an Al Gore in mariachi pants riding a disco ball. Has anyone ever actually been to a diner where they use language like this? I always see that as a joke, but I've never actually seen it. I like the double burger baked in biscuit dough. Hold the clams. Half a doppelganger in tight pants singing solo. Oh my gosh. Could I get the precious special with hash browns? Sal, two lemony snickets and a Mexican standoff with a prairie dog. We'd like the sweet and sour saltwater taffy. Sal, Julia Roberts, put a bullet in her brain and kiss her with Andy Rooney. What? It's like my secret dreams made audible. 
We only have two yogurts and an open-faced turkey sandwich. Sal, hubless times two with a side of Brady culture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> on second thought, I'm on a diet. How's the diner business? Well, it's no Italian villa rendezvous with George Clooney. <laughs> but reopening the family restaurant is very fulfilling. Bringing people closer to obesity-induced ischemic heart disease is its own reward. On the other hand, George is much easier on the eyes. <laughs> and the feet. <laughs> My dogs are barking louder than you, Fido. Grrr. Yeah, don't uh, make dog references to him. He doesn't like that. Standing up all day, getting you down? And how? I was made for sunning beachside and Capri, not slinging hash counterside for a pack of ingrates. The fact that we keep saying that her feet hurt gives me a clue that there, that might have something to do with something, but uh, I don't know yet. Anyway, there's the trivia here, but can we win it and win that horseman? I guess we'll uh, give it a go next time on... So long. Let's play Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.